Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. We are over here at our brand new chicken coop that we placed late, late uh, in July, late last night. Uh, already started producing some eggs, obviously it'd be a bit before we actually reap any benefits from this. Uh, I have 180 chickens, half of them uh, are able to produce eggs, the other half are young, but uh, we, we did that so we could save some money uh, and this can't hold 360 chickens, uh, still at 180, but they will breed and we will be able to get a lot more. So that's good news. Now, today we were planning on doing a few things, but I downloaded a new mod uh, because we need to take advantage of some contracts. And I've actually loaded this game up a few times, reset the contracts to try to get something other than silage. But... We're going to make some big money today, and I'll tell you why we want to make some big money. Because uh, I do want to invest, if we come in here, into a mulcher. And although we have, well, these are for, say, all of farming. These are somewhat affordable, but they're really small working with. So I want to get probably this one here. Maybe this one. But I think uh, I think we'll go with the double. Um it has a 5.8 meter working width, but working width, but it requires $22,500, which, which we don't have. So um, we only have half that. So we're going to come into our contracts. And there are some nice contracts here. Um, we will grab this fertilizing one to do a little later. Um, so we'll just, we have the equipment. But we will take uh, field 71, and we're going to, I almost did it, uh, borrow the equipment. Um, so it's just, oh, this one's actually to, uh, it's not silage this time. Good thing I looked. It's to uh, make hay. But $26,000 is pretty good. So we're going to borrow the items for this. But we're going to use a new mod, well, new mod to me. It's well known in the farming simulator community, and that is follow me. So follow me as we get all of our equipment over to field 71. We're over at field 71 and boy, what some lovely equipment do we have here. Now I have all our tractors on the go. Uh, we still have to get the trailer over here, but that's fine. Now you notice that the farming equipment that I have is much smaller than the uh, tether and the wind rover that I've borrowed. So let's just have a quick look over at what's over at the farm shop and actually see if the farming, uh, sorry, the mower, uh, the mowers that uh, I borrowed are far better than the ones I have. So let's go have a look see. The uh, mowers that come with the contract are actually these two here. So you notice a 3.1 and a 10 meter working width versus my 8.3 uh, and then a 3.1. So they're fairly close, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick hot swap and we'll be back over at Field 71 with all the equipment we've borrowed for this contract. We can get things uh, going here. Oh, uh, will we? Wow, um, besides the front one not being on. Holy Toledo, this is, uh, this is gonna be a tad slow. Oh my goodness. I've got the pedal to the metal and we are just breaking land speed records here of 12, 13 kilometers per hour. I think the deer are beginning to take pity upon me. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a few passes of this. And I might even, well, besides take a little bit of a bad turn there. As I got disorientated with my cameras. Hmm. Because there is one big tractor that came with uh, this contract. But if we are... 
our limiting factor is going to be the mower, which has, I believe, the smallest width of them all. This is going to take a minute. Hmm. So I think what we're going to do, uh, we'll go all the way down in the end. All the way down. Uh, we will come back. Maybe, maybe we'll catch a little more speed, but this looks like fairly level terrain-ish. Um, yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll do this pass. We will head back and we will swap out the mowing equipment on the larger tractor. So it'll go the fastest. And then as soon as we can, we'll get the other equipment behind it going with the tetting and the wind rowing. So, and then followed by a baler. So I think we should be able to, to my knowledge, have all those pieces of equipment follow one another. So which will make, uh, in theory, this a very quick contract compared to the first time we did it. Now, the first time we did silage, and we still have yet to actually sell those silage bales. But uh, that is coming up in a few months which should be a big cash windfall. Yeah, it does look like there was a small grade on the way up because we are going a whopping 14. Yes, you heard me. You heard me. 14 kilometers per hour. I think we'd be a little more efficient too if we don't have as much as an overhang on the, on the mower. So let me get uh, down to the end here and swap out the uh, tractors for the various equipment. You can see we've picked up a great amount of speed here. Uh, it's a lot faster with this tractor, and I would hope so. Look at this beast. This looks like it should be in a construction site, not a farming field. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna, I was about to say plow right along here, but we will get this up. And I think what we can do, uh, I'm going to go around the headland here with this on a very quick time lapse just to make sure uh, the other equipment doesn't have any problems. Uh, I'll put this on a worker and then I will end up leading the tether with having the wind rower as well as then the, the baler following behind. So that should make uh, as quick as work on field 71 here as we can. Now, I do wish this was a another silage contract because the silage is worth a lot more than the hay will get. But hey, hey, well, you know, what could you do? Um, but let me just uh, bang out the headland and then we'll get uh, the rest of the equipment on Follow Me. We've made quick work of the headland here, so what we can do now, we will get this on as a worker, and then we can start the, the rest of the mission here. So let's hop over. Wow, that's that's a big reach. Hmm. Let's uh, let's move some equipment out of the way here, like this tractor, probably be the easiest. We'll zip around and hook it up to the wind rower. Uh, now I wonder how much uh, these tractors will struggle. Like my best tractor, I think, was struggling with the mowing with just slightly upgraded mowing equipment from what I have. But it is what it is. I don't have any other tractors. I don't want to borrow or lease any. Okay, so here we go. Well, I should say buy or lease. I can't borrow any more equipment. Uh, let's make sure this is on the go. Hmm. What is wrong with our tether? It's not 
That's probably not lowered. That's probably the problem. So let me just do a quick loop around. Although that would be nice at this speed to do the tedding. 31! So yeah, I definitely failed to lower the tether. So we did get our tether started, but I accidentally set it off on a wild worker. So let me just get things uh, lined back up again here. I live here in Canada, there is a TV show, or was, called Canada's Worst Driver. Um, they drive pretty well in real life, but uh, with tractors, definitely leads a lot to be desired. Okay, so we have that there. We now have the tether, so it's going to follow the John Deere. Oop. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't follow it without the... Try that again. So this is control F. It'll sign it. I think that'll follow. Now we can come in with uh, our baler. Now we need to make sure it oops, that it gets behind the wind rower. So it's right control F. There we go. Get our tether going and let's see if this little pause Oh, we're on the wrong machine. I was like, why aren't you tedding, tedding? There we go. And let's just see if it's gonna follow. No, because I took too long. Oh no, there it is. Okay, we're all going. We got a parade going here. Much better than my parade uh, last episode. So this should work out. We're actually making better speed than with the mower on. You know, by a couple kph. Now, that tractor will be finished mowing long before we... Let's make sure we get all the way over here. Long before we uh, catch up to it. But then we'll be able to send it back to get the tractor uh, to pick up all of the, the bales. Which it looks like an auto loaded trail, which, as you know, I love very much. Because you think my driving is top notch and that there is uh, no one better. Uh, definitely, I suffer from the ability to load bales onto trailers. Yeah, that is a fact. So now let's also see how this does here with the turn. Don't know if it's going to confuse things. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, good to know, good to know. So this did not actually turn on. Huh. Okay. Well, this isn't good. So, I do have the ability to set how far it goes back. Which is nice. But it doesn't look like... So maybe let's set... Glad I just... Well, wish I would have noticed it sooner. But what we're going to do is we're going to hire him. We're going to take over this job. And then hopefully he's going to collect that at least. Maybe one of the things I had to do was make sure everything was turned on first. And now it's 
on. Control F. And get the wind rower going. And let's hope that solved our problem. Yes, there we go. Okay. So, as you could probably tell from uh, the beginning of the episode, this is my first time using Follow Me. So, some great tips here. So, besides obviously having the equipment on the best tractor, which I think we do have the best setup given the four tractors at our disposal, and then obviously having them lined up in order, which I did, and I had them correctly follow the correct tractor in front of them, but you actually have to have all the equipment set up and turned on and ready to go as if you were going to use it yourself. So if we look back, Oh, you know what else we could probably uh, do? Hang on. We're gonna hop back here. We're gonna dismiss the worker briefly because I don't think... Okay, well maybe it'll, it'll automatically unload. So we'll find out. This is actually a pretty big, uh, big failure. Uh, and so hopefully it auto unloads. We'll find out. Get our wind rower spinning again. But we're actually going to do well for space here. And we're going to take the opportunity to come and we're going to do a loop around this way. And we're going to come back. And maybe we fail to get... Uh, him following? So let's just get him caught up here. Alright, so we're going to turn around. This should allow us now to get into follow mode. There we go. And I'm not sure if the bailer is going to properly unload, so... The other bailers I've used to date uh, did have an auto unload feature. I didn't seem to see one on this particular uh, bailer, but we'll find out as we go. Now, as you also notice, because I didn't properly wind row with this up, uh, I was a little off the mark as to where to go up and down, but we'll get that. No worries. I'm not worried at all. This would be a nice machine to use for sure. And as you can see, we have our baler behind. So definitely even one of the things I can consider too is uh, watching where I'm going. That would be uh, rumored to be beneficial. No, we work to clean this all up off, off screen here, I think for the most part because we'll want every last little drop of our hay here as best we can. So do a turn here. We'll ignore this patch for now. And we'll come down here. And hopefully our baler catches up. Okay, it's unloading. You just saw it poop out of bale. That's awesome. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, we've definitely learned uh, a number of tricks here. Uh, driving is still uh, not one of them, apparently, in a straight line. But it's looking good. Tatter's moving along. Our mower is having a field day. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, no. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, come up with as many punny jokes as I can throughout the series. But this is... This is good. Look at that. That's a massive row of hay. Baylor's doing its job. I'm loving it. So what we'll do here is we'll crack on with a time lapse. And we will see you in a little bit.
So I think we're running into a bit of a problem. Or, oh no, we're not. Okay, we're still good. We're, our tether though is definitely has caught up to our mower. I, I did off screen have to uh, unjam them. They had uh, run into each other at the top of the field here. And it looks like they might just do it again as we get to the top. Even though that is going to turn around, I think uh, the tether will catch up just due to its width. But man, this, this is going a lot faster. So definitely having the equipment all started earlier. Now, follow me uh, so far has been most beneficial uh, with the baler. I, I think that's the, the key win there. You know, the workers here can do their own thing with the tetting and the wind rowing, but definitely the baler is, is where the uh, follow me app does come into play quite, quite well. Now we'll see here as the tether is still on, oop, hiding, uh, there we go. It is still on a worker. Now we're just kind of admiring their work here for a moment. And our follower has stopped. Wait, what, what? That would be the baler I was talking so highly of. So let's go find it. What are you, sir, doing all the way over here? So let's get you going again. That's definitely not where you are meant to be. So we'll come along here. We'll turn it on. Look how massive this thing is. Yeah, and we're collecting it. Here it comes right down the chute we're making good speed with this uh, 17 kilometers an hour now since if you recall last time we were doing field 71 it was for silage and there was a wrapper here uh, but because there is no wrapper we don't need to stop uh, to allow it to wrap then allow for the catch to kind of go back down so this this is definitely a much more efficient machine you know, perhaps we'll also uh, try this again with a silage contract with a baler and wrapper separate to see whether that follower does uh, work as well on it. Not too sure. Oh, what's, uh, oh, he's just backing up. I was about to say, what's going on here, sir? And there we go. Lots of problems. I told you, I told you these guys would catch up. So let's take over uh, this guy here. Go around him here. Let him get down. And I think we should be able to go a little faster than the uh, AI. Just get uh, the equipment to go down. Get them turned on. There we go. So we should be able to avoid the problem here. Well, let's get him on to a worker for a second so we can actually get the baler. He's falling behind now and we need to get the baler going because this is definitely a limiting factor. But even then, as we get things around, uh, when we get the trailer, we'll probably have to make a few passes anyways. Well, let's see, is this... No, we're too far back of the wind roar to grab the follow me. I feel very good compared to last episode where Definitely discombobulated with everything. Nothing was uh, seeming to go my way. Although we did get the chicken coop. So at the end of the day, you can call it success. But today here, I'm just feeling so much better. Like I say, even though there's a few issues here we have to work out. Make the turn. There we go. We've got the AI caught. Uh, and this is going to be a little more problematic to solve. You know, 
some minor issues, some things to go back over and do to maybe try to collect a little more of the, the hay here. But I'm not worried. Uh, but we're about to play a game of chicken, so we will veer off, of course. Looks like a pterodactyl or something coming in there, bird of prey. So I definitely think it's now reached the point of confusion. It doesn't know what to do. Of course, I don't really blame it, but we'll just get this grass cut. I was trying to tet it up. Not sure what it's doing, because it's mainly on the grass field, the unmowed grass. Well, I figured out what it could do. Good job, AI. It's found a little patch it can Ted. That's perfect. Although, it thinks, no. Okay, I spoke too highly of you of AI worker Jay. Jay, probably from Men in Black. Highly suspicious. Hopefully it's not because he's gotta go catch some aliens, but once we finish this, which we pretty much are, I'll pick up the tatter. Sorry, I will unload this mowing equipment or set it off to the side here. Okay, so our follow me, we had a little fail, and that's because I did get distracted with fixing the mower and tether entanglements. But that's fine. We're, we're doing pretty good. I'm very happy where we're at. And I hope you think that this was a very quick and productive episode. We've still got a little more to do. Our goal is to get our mulcher. And this contract is definitely the piece that's going to do it. It's going to give us about $30,000. Plus the extra that we're going to make from when we can sell the hay. And we are running out of storage space. So I'm not sure if it's best to just sell it all. You know, I'm sure there's a couple spots around the farmyard that we can tuck the hay. Uh, I'm not sure how much extra we'll have. It's the first time accepting, I think, a hay contract. Oh, that's not, that's not, I don't think that's true. But definitely accepting a hay contract uh, this big. But Field 71 is being very kind to us, making a lot of good money here. Um, which is definitely going to help us get equipment and farmland. So I'm very happy. So let's just get this last little piece done here. And then we can get the windrowing done. We're making great progress on our, our baling here. As you'll notice, uh, the windrower has stopped and there's still, uh, you know, work to do. So we'll just get to the end of this row here. Um, we will then take over the windrower, uh, finish up that little last little bit, and then we'll take the trailer and collect some bales and get some of these uh, delivered to start fulfilling uh, the contract. This is a great one, Lake. This would be good to have. Now, this wind roar is probably really only a valley if you've got large fields, as opposed to doing like the ones 13, 14, 15 at the top right of the map here in Elm Creek. Probably overkill, unless you own them all, merge them together, and there would probably be some value there. But for a large field like this, this, yes. This is a piece of equipment to have. Same with that tether that, that uh, is part of the contract that we are borrowing. Pretty good. And of course the JCB. You know, I wonder, you know, do you, do you think you think the farmer will just be okay if, uh, you know, I get to, you know, he doesn't need to pay me the $30,000, just lets me keep these few pieces of equipment, uh, which I'm, I'm damaging anyways. Um, Unjammed and we are now good to go 
Although we're still probably going to run into some problems here with some of the other equipment we've got parked over to the side. But that is just the nature of the hired help, aka really me. Just leaving them in poor spots, not really planning well enough ahead. So what we'll do is we will skirt the side here. Uh, we might as well, I guess, kind of just fix this side up here, see if we can pull all that in. There we go. Perfect-ish. We can kind of just kind of, we will, see if we can catch some of that. Push that into one last little row. There we go. But I love these auto stackers. Ooh, how many can this hold? Hopefully, uh, I'm going to guess 12. It actually uh, looks faster than the last uh, auto loader. Uh, not the one I uh, mod, but the one from the base game that I used last time when doing Field 71. And it's probably because these are square bales, sorry, rectangular bales, as opposed to round bales. That uh, probably makes a small difference. But let me uh, just zip up and down here and get this uh, trailer loaded. So we've loaded up this trailer of uh, 14 bales. Now we'll work to finish off the contract, obviously, first. Uh, we need to take them to the animal dealer. And I'm going to assume this is the drop spot for it. So I think what we're going to have to do is get them upright. And then, hmm. Okay. And then, oh yeah, similar the last one. Thirty-nine percent transported to the field. So just got to hit Y twice, just like the last uh, trailer. We can now quickly pick up another fourteen bales. Uh, definitely, it looks like it's going to take uh, two and a half loads, but we'll find out. So let's quickly uh, collect up these bales. We'll get them over to the animal dealer so that we can finish off this contract. Trailers made it over here with another load. And we might be done with our bailing as well. Um, we will see. But I don't think there's enough uh, bits left to actually make it worthwhile to scrape around the field to squeeze out one more bale. As you saw, we, well, let's see here. 78% uh, complete. So we're close. We are close. So I think what we'll do is we'll fill this trail, our uh, trail, trailer up with seven bales. Was doing a little uh, thinking here about whether we should just actually sell all these bales. So as we fill things up here, we'll have a quick peek uh, here. The peak uh, price as we're peaking is 183, 147. Current price at the animal dealer is 162, so it's kind of right in between uh, the midpoint there. And I think it's probably just going to be in our best interest to sell all these bales. We have this great trailer here. Even though I'm sure we could find some spots to store it, we could actually use the money. So, and I don't think we're going to have any specific need for the hay bales for a while. Uh, to my recollection, 
It's, uh, it's just going to be animals that need them. I know cows would uh, could use this, uh, especially as part of mixed rations, but we're a ways from getting cows, so we'll likely get another hay contract or have our own hay long before we're actually in need. Uh, and we're also in need of some better driving. So we'll just hop out, move this bale. Throw the tractor around. And let's just pick up the one bale. And what we'll do is we will see you over at the animal dealer. We'll unload this here. And we will soon see if this actually completes the contract. And it should. And we should make some extra money. Survey says. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's done. And we made an extra $7,000 from the bales. Go through some power lines. What could go wrong? And we'll just get this uh, back. So that's three trailer loads. Very productive field, 71. But it is time consuming somewhat, especially since uh, the animal dealer, which is currently the best price and also was the one that we needed to take to to complete the contract, is pretty far away from field 71. But let's uh, zip back and just get this, just get this done. We are just rolling back up here to the animal dealer with our final load of 13 bales. Hope to make some really good money. We made $7,333 uh, last time. And I do believe we're getting about $24,000, maybe it was $20,000 from the contract. Uh, so this will be a very profitable day for us. If you recall, the pricing here is really at the midpoint, so we could have made a little more money, but I think we'll take it uh, since we're here anyways. So let's see, big money, big money, big money. All right, let's go get our mulcher. $23,000 total from all the extra hay. So this is a really good good time for us here. So we'll accept the contract and we'll go buy our mulcher. So we're gonna come into and find our mulcher. Come up here. We've discounted uh, these mulchers over here because these are like for the vineyards. But we want to make sure we do a, a good investment so we don't have to come back and do it again. So that's a 5.6 meter working width. Ooh, what we should just double check is the horsepowers. So we can't, I don't think we have a 200 horsepower tractor. Let's see here. We got a 190, 170, and 175. So all our tractors can currently tow. And actually, let's just see to make sure. No, that's a sorry. So there's nothing in here for what we're looking for at this point. Let's come back to the mulcher. Definitely can't get this one. That's outside of our horsepower range. That's 150. That's 130. We can easily tow this one. It's a little extra wide. But we can also save a bit of money. Now we'll go with this one. Let's let's go ahead. See how we can customize it. Oh, not much you can customize here. But I like it. Let's do it. This is ours. Come out. And this is our brand new mulcher. That uh, will increase the yield of our fields, I think, by 2.5%. And since we are right now at the beginning of the season, uh, we will mulch our two fields, the wheat and uh, canola fields. And we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. So with that, I think we'll leave it here. Very much appreciate you watching. And until next time, bye for now.